Jack of all the master of none. <laughs> writes about the, probably the broadest range of subjects I think of anybody I know. Massive round of applause for the Tom Priestley. <laughs> Hate more in this life the fact that Oasis have reunited <laughs> on, uh, job interviews. <laughs> I don't have one about Oasis, so I'll just do one about job interviews. This is called yeah, temporary position. A walking, talking hairpiece asks me where I want to be in five years with his Primark suit and his fetish for targets. Would I be interested in a supervisor position? Thanks, but no thanks. I don't fancy being a babysitter. I can't climb up the ladder because I have a thing about heights. I just want to get paid, get pissed, because that's how I like to spend my night. I'm not interested in teamwork because I'm here for myself. I sit before the rock set scene because working is a threat to my mental health. I'll work at my own pace, probably go for a wank in the bogs. I'm easily bored and I always need smoke. Don't ask me to do overtime because I don't want to be here in the first place. I'll do what I can until I'm comfortably replaced by some hits the student who thinks everything's a fucking laugh. There's nothing fun sweating for eight hours, you useless twat. I mean, we're sending it. Oh, and paper seems exact to act nicey nice and then slag you off behind your back. I'm asking to give you an example of superior customer service. Must have been when I was running sick and had a marathon of acid trips. You asked me why I'm the best person for the implied job. It's because I fucking showed up, you stupid soul. Am I analytical? Can I work under pressure? I can barely get out of bed, let alone think of a good answer to your double hand query that you asked me smug eloquence. If I could end up in picking my ass, then I'd certainly take the chance. <laughs> you want me to describe myself at this specific, but I'm just another burnout, you pretentious prick. You need to know why I'm in the job market. It's because I need the money to settle my locals' debt. You ask me what I'm looking for, as if I'm Bono from U2. I obviously haven't found it yet, so that's why I'm talking to you. I'm not here for the long run. My objective is short. No sweat off my ass if I'm selected or not. I'm just another stand-in, another job-seeking orphan. Life is a temporary position, and we're always here to go. Cheers. <laughs> From memory, this got this this poem has got me kicked out of so many open mics. <laughs> it, got me, it got me kicked off stage at um, Bradford, yeah, Bradford Moor songs. Yeah, I still need to fucking chat with him. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> but, uh, you should have told me I would have asked you to deck it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, the thing is, I don't um, I don't administer this practice anymore either, which is quite shame. I might do it later, but this is called You're Never Alone with a Hand. <laughs> When you're in the mood, but she's not broody, don't get upset, have a five-finger pie. When you're overcome with passion and she's on the rag and not moved by your proposition that you'll go around the back, just cradle your balls and work the shaft, because you're never alone with a hand. When you're on a dry spell, and you have been for months, and the horizontal disco will ease those headaches of hers, lower your blood pressure twice a day, keep your hand in a bag of rice, get your kicks your own way to ease those lonely nights. Go on a crusade of salt. Whoa! Just as that Face off the one arm man with the rest of elastic. Don't sit there broken hearted when she spares your advances. Just shut the door before you molest yourself to avoid any embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who could be yours, any dog will fetch. If not, grabbing the devil by the horns is worth its best. Nobody knows better and nobody touches you like yourself. Train the iron grip of yours for the betterment of your health. Spend some time with your favourite gland. You're never alone with a hand. Cheers. <laughs> This morning, we were talking about um, like legalizing drugs, and I, I mean, I don't do drugs anymore. I, I want to thank Faye for offering, but you know. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> uh, 
Go on, you went there, not me. <laughs> but this is like uh, the last, this is about the last time I did LSD. This is called Flashback. <laughs> Walk into the shop to get something for dinner, struck by that old feeling of the comforting familiar, that delayed lysergic beginning to kick in, the switch has been flicked as I feel my heart pumping, the paving stones rotate, the sun glows like a sparkler, the clouds take various shapes from farm animals to umbrellas, with a low grade buzz shimmering in my system, choreographing my stride to people in the distance, Enthralled but vexing as I begin to trip my proverbial nuts off while trying to take care of business. <laughs> Separated in the wavelengths, my perception heightened in the psyche delicate frenzy, bewildered and frightened. I get to the shop door and find myself in the aisle, forgetting what I came in for as all the items on the shelf come alive. This is fucking amazing, <laughs> I've got to do. Why foaming at the mouth until one of the tool jockeys has had enough and gets security to show me out. So sacrifice with eyes of glass, piece of other psychotropic threads. Ever since then, Morrisons have never had me back. <laughs> Thomas, what you mean more? 